Hey guys, welcome back to the Sullivan family. So this week I am doing a video on the shopping. So I've just been to, it's Friday night, I've just been to Asda twice, Tesco's twice, and being able to get a swimming pool for tomorrow. So this is the car, it's filled at the moment. I ran out of bags with stuff, random stuff. But the boot is full and the back is full. Um, so normally, when it's not summer holidays, I think I've probably said this before in a video, um, I normally do my shopping on a Monday night and a Thursday night. So I do it on a Thursday night to get stuff in like for the weekend um, and to stock up cupboards and stuff. And I do it on a Monday night to get stuff in for meals, fresh meals for the week. Um, so things like you know chicken mince things that will go off and won't necessarily you won't get a long enough date on them if you get them at, on the thursday to last the following week um but everything's a little bit back to front with the summer holidays so i'm kind of just going shopping as and when at the moment um so i've come in tonight because it's too hot to go earlier and i don't want to have to go out tomorrow and i think last week i did the shopping on saturday and it was far too busy for me it was too people -y. it was too many people so, um, yeah, it's Friday evening. I've just got the, all the shopping. Um, so it's just a random, bike. random guy on his bike with no helmet. Um, so I'm now gonna go home and unpack it all. One. It wasn't wearing it on his head. Sorry. Um, I'm gonna go home and unpack it all and show you guys what we've got. Um, show you all what kind of things we buy and uh yeah so we're gonna go home and take it all home and unpack it right so this is the shopping oh, all of it so now it's time to put it away right so i'll start with drinks um so because it's some summer holidays i've been buying the kids just some cans of pop just for a bit of a treat um they have one sometimes in the evenings so that's that wouldn't normally be on my shopping but it is at the moment um and then there's me and ben don't i don't know if we've ever mentioned it before on videos but we don't drink so there's pepsi max and then there's fizzy water and this the girls drink girls drink this fizzy water stuff and then there's squash so we these are the double concentrate squashes but it's pretty much all anybody in the house drinks so we do get through probably one every day and a half probably so that will last like maybe five days until we need some more. Um, yeah, if it, I mean, the kids tend to drink, you know, they don't really drink anything else other than the little ones, especially drink squash. So, yeah, that'll last about five days. OK, so this is kind of the cereal section of the house. Um, we've got like everything going, even though they complain that there isn't enough cereal. So um, I don't even know how many boxes are there. Quite a lot. I think there's probably about 12 boxes of cereal there. So that is the, the cereal there. And then more cereal. So I'll just flip it around so you can see. So this is the backup cereal shelf. So we've got more, more cereal that we just bought so yeah these are all the extra boxes in here they just about fit the kind of reason that i keep extra boxes in is like i said earlier i tend to go shopping twice a week but at the moment it's only once but i still find you know there's a lot of us in the house um most of the kids eat cereal 
for breakfast maybe not so much the older ones but all the little ones eat cereal for breakfast every day so you know we do get through cereal quite quickly um actually we get through everything quite quickly and i hate running out of stuff the cat's just trying to come in the door the cat has just come in the door <laughs> just leave him i'll put him out in a minute um cat doesn't know how to be a cat in the evening so he gets kicked out of the house in the evening because he just he tries to wake people up and annoys people so yeah so there's there's quite a lot of like we'll have one box going and a spare one um just so we don't run out of stuff really because the kids they all like their own cereal and it's just a pain when they run out i liked and i hate i hate running low on stuff i hate running out of stuff um so i like to make sure i've got enough of things in which is why we have so much stuff when we've first been shopping believe me it doesn't last that long um right so i'm going to move on to the next thing now um we've also got things like so toilet roll i buy it in the 24 pack which probably will last um with everybody off school on the summer holidays it'll probably last about a week maybe a bit longer because we do go through quite a lot of toilet roll I don't ask me what they do with it i don't know but we do go through quite a lot um we also have wipes baby wipes um to go out there and then pull-ups joseph's still in joseph's still in pull-ups at the moment so you know when they were all in um nappies and pull-ups we did have quite a lot more so pull-ups I actually find these Asda ones, which way you can't see it properly, but these Asda ones I find are probably the best ones I've ever bought. I had to buy some, um, some, what are the other ones? Huggies, the, pull, the proper pull-ups I had to buy the other day. And I found them that Joseph was wet when he woke up in the morning um, and sort of wet through, whereas he never those don't they're, they're much more absorbent just a little tip um kitchen roll extra kitchen roll because i've already got some up there uh so things like that go in on the shop as well um i think we'll do crisps next okay so crisps now i know it looks like quite a lot of crisps but what you gotta remember is how many people are in the house and um <clears throat> they normally have a packet of crisps with their lunch and so they only have like one one packet a day excuse me <coughs> yeah they only normally have one packet each day so i do tend to buy them when they're on special offer so crisps normally go up there because we don't have anywhere else to put them so crisps normally live up there and over there as well as you can see, there's probably all the cheese and onion ones left because nobody ever eats them. So yeah, there is, we've got disco because the prawn cocktail ones are Eva and Toby's favorite. Everybody likes salt and vinegar ones, so they're gone really quick. And we always end up with the cheese and onion ones left of which we have hundreds of packs of. Um, I think Ben's favorite. They all like the Blue Doritos, Snacker Jacks, these things, they get, the little ones post them like letters. Agnes likes these because these are one of the things that she can actually eat. Um, obviously she's dairy free, so there's not a lot of snacks and stuff that she can eat, but she does love these ones. Um, these are Olivia's favorite. Agnes can eat these as well. She does like these too. Everybody likes McCoy's. Um, and then things like skips, Joseph loves skips, and quavers, and whatsits. Um, so yeah, these won't, these won't all be gone in a week. These will last longer than that. But um, like I said, it's normally the good flavours that go first. And then more Snacker Jacks, because they, they love their Snacker Jacks. So yeah, crisps. Snacks, lunch, bits and bobs, etc. So we have biscuits, rich tea biscuits. We get through quite a lot of these at the moment because I normally take a pack out when we go for walks because everybody loves a rich tea biscuit. Custard creams, 
bourbons. These are Agnes's favourite because she can actually have these because they don't have milk in. I'm just going to check that now again. No, they don't. So she can actually eat bourbons. So anybody that's dairy free can eat bourbons. Custard creams, Joseph's favourite. Um, things like Rice Krispie Square, Rice Krispie? Rice Krispie Squares. Snacks. Lizzie loves these for snacks. Eva loves these for snacks. Kind of makes you feel a bit better about the whole chocolatey thing because they're sort of Rice Krispies, so they must be a bit better. Um, these are, Toby loves these. These are really nice, actually. These salted caramel munch bars. I like them a lot as well. Um, so they're good for snacks as well. Um, Jaffa cakes never fail. They quite often have these for afters, after dinner. Um, so they don't last very long. And then there's bits like um, yogurt fruit flakes. They love them. Mini rolls. They normally have them with their lunch. Chocolate mini rolls. They'll normally have with their lunch and biscuits um clubs and yorkies they all decided that they like different things at the moment so i keep getting all the different ones panix caramel biscuits kit kats so they're all for sort of lunches really so what we tend to do i've got ben helping hi everybody it'll be my turn it'll be my turn tomorrow i'm doing a video tomorrow Ben normally puts the shopping away, to be honest, because after like two hours in the supermarket, it's my least favourite job is putting it away. Actually, no, my least favourite job is actually doing the shopping. My second least favourite job is putting the shopping away. Anyway, um, what we tend to do is when the kids are all at home, we kind of just stick with the sort of pack lunch theme, if you like. Um, so they have, they'll have fresh fruit, They'll normally have like a cakey thing, like a mini roll. They'll have a biscuit, like a, a club or um, Agnes actually has, Agnes has these ones. She'll have half one of these because they're the free from ones. You can get them in at Asda or Tesco's. Um, so she normally has like half one of them. Um, but yeah, we tend to stick with that. They'll have like a sandwich or a wrap or a panini um, and a yogurt and a cheese string because it's just it's kind of easier um, to go with the pack lunch thing. You know, when you're feeding so many of them at lunchtime, um, it, it is easier to kind of think along the pack lunch theme with a little bit of a difference, I guess, when they're at home. You might put a bit more fresh stuff in, but yeah, that's kind of, kind of what we go with. I think for us, you know, we try and feed everybody as healthily as we can, but equally, I do think it's important to have a little bit of everything. It's important for them to know that they can eat, you know, they can have chocolate bars and they can have crisps, but they can't have 10 packets of crisps a day and 10 chocolate bars a day. So it's always been quite important to me for many reasons. Um, and probably things that I, you know, I haven't really vlogged about actually issues that, you know, I've had in the past, but maybe that's something that I will do. Um, but it's always been very important to me to make the kids know that they can have they can have anything they want in moderation. And I think that's really important. I think that's kind of what's missing. You know, we're all told that they can't have this and they can't have that and we shouldn't give them this and we shouldn't give them that. And I just think, well, you can actually have all those things because, you know, a lot of the fad diets and everything else, and believe me, I've tried all of them, um, they're all cut about cutting something out of your diet. And I don't necessarily think that that's a good way to go which is why I kind of make sure that they all know like I said they can have a little bit of everything and that's kind of how you maintain a healthy lifestyle so um and you know we will have treat nights where they'll have extra crisps or they'll have sweets or things like that but they don't have sweets every day um they normally have when they're at school They'll normally have, it says me, you stood right next to the sweetie box. Mm. But they don't have sweets every day. At school time, they might have sweets. They normally have sweets on a Wednesday for a snack after school. And they have sweets on a Friday after after school for a snack. Um, the rest of the week, it will be a healthy snack when they come in. It's, um, like I said, it's it's just, it's something that's quite important to me that 
that that they know that they can have a little bit of a little bit of everything and that's fine in their diet um i mean don't get me wrong this i wish that some of them would eat more fruit and vegetables agnes we can't get to eat fruit at all i think because she's had issues with what she can't eat because of being dairy free it's quite difficult to get her to try new things um but that's just a case of keeping on trying like we we got her some um plant-based yogurts ages ago and she would not touch them at all whatsoever whereas i just kept trying her and now she loves them she loves the, the i'll show you in a minute which ones i get but she loves she loves those now so you know some of them will eat stuff some of them won't um elizabeth i weaned on everything i cooked myself she never had a jar of anything she always had everything that i cooked myself now she is 16 she just doesn't eat any of it so you know what can you do you, you can only try your best can't you um right so i'm going to move on to uh the next bit i don't know which bit we're doing we're going to move on now right this is the um snacky goody whatever you want to call it cupboard we don't actually have that many cupboards in our kitchen so everything is kind of shoved in so yes we have a lot of mini rolls i do kind of like i said i don't like running out of stuff but they will um oh ben's just trying to put some party rings in party rings see party rings are another thing that are actually dairy free as well so agnes likes them she calls them donuts so she she has them with her lunch as well um so yeah chocolatey biscuits i bought we've got like that loads of twixes because no one seems to be eating them at the moment so yeah we've got biscuits more biscuits I don't actually eat biscuits it's the kids mini rolls quite a lot of mini rolls we might not need any next time i go shopping um and then there's snacky bits like breadsticks actually there's crackers there as well breadsticks which they all like to snack on tuck biscuits crackers um jaffa cakes other bits so yeah that's the uh kind of lunch snack cupboard this one is my other cupboard and i know it looks like a supermarket shelf right and we have actually got quite a lot in there at the moment because i didn't know if we had any or not but things like these which i know don't contain any fruit but make me feel a little bit better about snack time um we do have quite a lot actually there's not normally that many in there but they do eat these for joseph likes the fruit stars agnes likes the fruit hearts um things like fruit flakes the little ones like them for their snack um these these things from actually as have just started selling them as well but they were from b&m these i adore these they are so nice someone's opened that box and eaten half of them which made me think i have more than i actually have and then you've got like um sort of caramel bars nutella bars they like them as well raisins cereal bars and stuff this is all yeah, cereal bars and bits and pieces in there so yeah i think with the little ones as well it's quite you know they do they just eat all the time kids eat all the time and especially when we're at home all the time we tend to do most of our meals even if we're going out we tend to do most of our meals at home so if we're going out to the beach or something like that unless we're taking dinner with us we will eat lunch normally at home every day so we don't really go out for lunch we don't really um go out for dinner or anything like that because it just costs too much money which is why our cupboards are always stopped as much as i can stop them and plus if it means i don't have to buy as much next week then that's always a good thing as well i think the way i do the shopping is i like to stock up what i can um so that you know there, there is some weeks so there's things that i don't need to buy that's always quite a good thing and you've also got to remember we've got teenagers and you know they just come down for little snacky snacks in the evening and you know then they're snacking on the breadsticks and then they're eating the crackers and then they're having the snacker jacks and although the cupboards look quite full today come thursday we've got all all 11 of them at home come thursday they'll be looking pretty empty again um and 
I'm not overly keen on going shopping. So if I can keep my cupboard stocked up and not have to go that often, that's better for me. Right, we didn't actually need that much stuff for the food cupboard this week. So this is the food cupboard, soup, beans, spaghetti hoops, curry sauces, sweet and sour, pasta sauces. We eat quite a lot of pasta. Um, so bolognese sauce, I tend to do, when I do a bolognese, I will tend to, um, I think it's about a kilogram of mints and two of these jars will do enough for everybody and an extra portion for me and Ben to have at a later date. So we've always got like one in the freezer. Um, I am a little bit of a snob and I do like my Dormio. I'm sure that the supermarket ones are very nice, but I do like Dormio. Um, soup, this one is Olivia's because she, she just lives on Mulligatawny soup. Um, she seems to eat it all the time for lunch, for tea. That's, so that's kind of her sweet corn, extra to put in. It's handy to have little, sometimes I buy it frozen, sometimes I buy it in tins. It's handy to have as an extra. With dinner, um, so yeah, I tend to think about what meal I'm going to do each night. Um, so I might not necessarily have a meal planner as such, but I do kind of in my head. Uh, so I like to have sources in that we can use. Um, so yeah, like I was saying, we tend to decide what meals we're going to have, kind of. Um, but I do like to make sure that I've got stuff in the cupboard. Like I will buy mints because it's Friday. I'll buy mints like on Monday, probably to have on Thursday if we're going to have spaghetti bolognese next week because it won't last from now if I bought it now. So that'll be something that I'll buy next week. Or if we're going to have sweet and sour chicken, um, I'll buy the chicken next week because, again, it won't last from Friday till when we need it next week. So we tend to, a lot of the time, it depends our meals depend. I mean, me and Ben always eat late in the evening and we are a bit stuck in our ways. We do have certain meals on certain nights because Ben does the cooking and it's it's late when we eat and we do tend to kind of eat things that are quick, like pasta um, and things like that, that are just quick to, to make and quick to eat. Uh, whereas the kids have their dinner earlier on in the evening. Um, so they'll have dinner at sort of half past four or five o'clock. It tends to be where the children are on what day as to what meal we're going to cook like at the moment it's summer holidays so it it kind of goes you know whatever saturday night they tend to have chicken burgers for a treat um and because they're quick and easy to cook friday nights they tend to have mash because they love mash and it's just you know quite easy again potatoes quite easy to do um, but a lot of the other nights when they are at school and clubs, it depends on who's got dancing, when, where they are. You know, Lizzie has netball on a certain night. The girls have dancing. So it kind of depends on who's where as to what meal we cook. So it kind of comes to Monday and we're like, right, we're going to do this, this, this. And some nights it just ends up being freezer food because everybody's out or we need to do something quickly. So, you know, there's there's kind of a bit of a bit of everything in there, really. Right. This is the stuff that makes me feel slightly healthier because I feel like all we've shown you is all the bad stuff. So this is all your fruit, veg, fridge sort of stuff. So potatoes, because we'll have new potatoes probably with pie or something in the week. Um, the kids love new potatoes. I've always got to watch the date though because sometimes you pick them up you don't i always have to check the dates on everything this is why i don't send ben shopping because he'd never check the dates i've also got an extra bag to do some potato salad but they didn't have any chives so i've got to pick up some chives from somewhere because fresh potato salad is lush so we've got an extra bag there's three bags there so two bags will do um all of us so it will do me and ben and all the kids two bags so that's two kilograms and then whatever's left over and an extra bag will do potato salad uh cheese strings they were on offer so i did buy quite a lot everybody loves cheese strings with their lunch 
so yeah we've got cheese strings yogurts for me and ben pepperami for eva she loves pepperami lettuce to have in sandwiches wraps bits and things bits and things bits and pieces like that cucumber that will last about a day because they just get through cucumber like you've never seen they just eat it straight out of the fridge because they love it so it never gets as far as sandwiches fruit again fruit lasts literally zero time in this house that lot will be gone in a day but again i find you can't i can't stock up so much on fruit because it just goes off so quickly sometimes tesco's is better for fruit sometimes asda is better for fruit but today asda literally had no fruit and Tes no tesco's had no fruit hardly so i had to go back to asda um but yeah those grapes will be gone in a day those strawberries will be gone by tomorrow lunchtime um so yeah they just the fruit goes really quickly cheese lots of cheese everybody likes cheese chicken again another thing you've got to watch the date on because they just don't seem to last i tend to buy it in smaller packs because not everybody eats the chicken and if i buy a big pack and open it it's gone off before you know it so i buy two smaller packs ham sandwiches wraps paninis everybody loves ham and then there's the kiddies yogurts we get through quite a lot of these because they'll tend to have one with their lunch one with their tea so that's you know two each actually these are the ones that we buy for as uh, for agnes so as to do these and as is the only place i found that does these outro kids ones not many places have plant-based or you know vegan kids stuff totally aimed at kids and you know how hard it is to get kids to especially little kids to eat things so these are really good she really really likes these she likes the mango ones the best um we've got some strawberry ones as well but she loves the mango ones and they're quite smooth and not you know they haven't got many bits in so they're really good she really likes them so they're good i mean they're not the cheapest they're 150 for four which you know when you think you can get 18 pots of those for two pounds and then for four it's one pound fifty you know really somewhere along the line somebody needs to sort their pricing out but you know milk i've only got green because we've got blue out in the fridge so a blue milk a green milk that will last probably about two days if that almond milk um agnes has almond milk so she's the only one that drinks that and blue milk the little ones still have blue milk uh at night and in the mornings chocolate mousse for puddings chocolate mousse and salad for extra either a salad or in sandwiches or wraps so yeah that's all the fridge stuff which i leave ben to put away Okay, I didn't actually need very much frozen this week, so we've just got posh chicken nuggets because I bought chicken nuggets, the bird's eye ones, once um, because they didn't have the other ones in and now they won't eat the normal brand ones because apparently they're the best, so I'm forced into buying them. Um, broccoli because everybody loves broccoli in fact that bag will probably only last two meals if that peas that will last a few meals uh, chips they're my favorite waffles chicken burger steak things they're mine and ben's favorite for our saturday night tea so yeah we didn't need much frozen um, this week we also have more fruit bananas and melon so oh, we have got some bananas although that one looks a bit Mexico. so my nice fruit baskets look that i got off amazon i paid about 10 quid for each of them and then found them in home bargains for 2.99 i wasn't impressed um a few new bottles for the little ones from b&m because they managed to ruin their other bottles so let's buy the new ones so yeah apples um melon bananas frozen okay bread it's quite a lot of bread products but 
we've got 50 50 because the girls like the other girls like 50 50 um i don't i like white bread white bread so we probably go through two loaves of bread a day maybe three sometimes so there's there's two white bread and one 50 50 and we've got some left over before tiger bread um because lizzie made me buy it and it smelled nice uh, cheesy baps for a treat for tomorrow lunchtime um normal rolls for the kids for chicken burgers tomorrow night um and some brioche buns for us to have for our chicken burgers for saturday night so a normal saturday night treat night is uh chicken burgers and chips um i've just seen we've actually got some other ones there but i'm going to ignore that wraps so kids really like having wraps for their lunch they also quite like having paninis but i couldn't get any um because asda and tesco's didn't have any so yeah they do like having wraps for their lunch with um sort of salads and ham and stuff like that and so that's always quite a a good one pasta we tend to buy pasta by what is that three kilos so we'll buy it by the by the big bag because it lasts much longer for us so a big bag like that will probably last us two weeks maybe maybe three depending on how often we're eating pasta um the older girls well lizzie lizzie likes pasta um we eat quite a lot of pasta the little twins love pasta so it does get eaten quite a lot in our house so yeah probably probably a couple of weeks um that will last we've also got a swimming pool don't even ask that um yeah that's just a normal standard shopping thing your swimming pool gravy because this lot just live on gravy this is our kind of sauce cupboard like i said we don't actually have that many cupboards that one's not even got a door um we've only got those and then that one that covers these covers we put in ourselves um and then that one's got plates in and stuff and that's got and that's it that's the only cupboards we've got in this kitchen so um oh and that one for cups we don't actually have many many cupboards to fit everything in which is why things are on top of cupboards we also don't have uh enough space for a big fridge freezer in here so we've only got we've got a little fridge oh, i can't show you properly a little fridge and our little freezer teeny tiny freezer we've only got a little fridge and a little freezer and then we've got our um old fridge freezer out in the shed um as like a backup fridge freezer i think people have said i think you've seen our previous videos when the kids go and get ice lollies yes yeah. so that's thought like, really we need a chest freezer but we don't um we don't the catch is coming again um we don't have enough space to put a chest freezer in there's not enough space in the kitchen um and our garage is not actually anywhere near our house so we can't have a well we could have one i suppose but it's quite a long it's it's all the way over the park and um it's next to my next door neighbor's house so it's it's a bit of a trek to go and get stuff so we just manage with what we've got which means you know we just keep what we can in and because I'm, I'm always in the supermarket anyway so um you know i'm always topping up frozen stuff but it would be handy to be able to have a a chest freezer because you know for for 13 people having a little fridge and a little freezer it doesn't really cut it we do we do kind of need a little bit more space but you know we manage because that's what we do so yeah that's that's bread i think um the only other things i've got on the shop that i haven't shown you are there were some toiletries toothpastes body washes things like that and toilet wipes stuff like that i didn't show you those ones i think other than that that's pretty much the whole shop to be honest this week um like i said earlier i'll probably have to go again next week to get more fresh fruit uh and fresh meat and things like that for meals for next week but for now we've got meals for the weekend we've got um fresh fruit salads bits and bobs like that um 
so yeah that's that's kind of shopping i think i worked out in the car earlier i mean that lot probably came to 300 and something pounds i don't know because i went to the supermarkets like four times or something probably came to about 300 and something pounds i worked out we probably spend near on 400 pounds a week on shopping which sounds like an awful lot and even i went at that and think oh my god that's such a lot of money but when you actually break that down <clears throat> there's 13 of us in the house that's actually only just over 30 pound a person per week which isn't as much as you think um, we watched a program last night and they spent 150 pound a week for three of them so you think that's 50 pound a person so actually we don't spend as much and that's including so that's including toiletries toilet paper wipes you know deodorants everything that everybody needs as well um so 30 to 35 pound or anywhere between 25 pound and 35 pound a week per person in the house actually doesn't sound as bad does it i mean granted you know it is a lot of money and uh we don't always necessarily have that much money so we do have weeks where you know i can't keep the cupboards as stocked up as they are at the moment which is why that's another reason i like to keep the cupboards as stocked up as they are because there are weeks where we can't buy all that stuff because you know the end of the month comes and stuff like that and there just isn't the money there so we've if i know that i've bought extra at other points then there's always stuff left over in theory it doesn't always work that way um so yeah it's it sounds like a lot of money but the other thing as well is during covid um when the kids went back to school so the girls used to have money on their young scott cards so they'd have lunch at school uh so the shopping bill would be slightly less whereas during covid and everything they've had to come home for their lunch so they haven't had money on their cards so that money has gone towards the shopping so that kind of you know instead of eating out at school they've been eating at home so that's the other thing as well a lot that we've the other ones have packed lunches so there's 13 lunches every day um 13 dinners every day 13 breakfasts every day so that's quite a lot of food which is why you know we get through so much stuff there's a lot of people in the house um so yeah that's shopping for this week i think well done i'm gonna let ben finish the video because oh, yeah? I, I always say oh, yeah. i always say the wrong thing <laughs> and i can't ever remember all the things that you tell me to say so i'll let you finish i think zoe's done an amazing video well done zoe good video good shopping haul yeah um just for me to say i uh, really hope you've enjoyed that video uh there's gonna be more videos like that to come because zoe is now um you are really getting into doing these kind of haul videos and clothes videos i think you're going to start another clothes video aren't you tomorrow i think you say or sunday tomorrow so, i think so lots we'll more toby's clothes out so the, so we're gonna what we want to do is have a nice mix of videos a nice mix of videos on our channel so um yeah looking forward to those so coming up tomorrow we are getting the pool out for or the pool is out we're going to fill the pool up uh we've got and the second pool as well yeah oh yeah and zoe's bought another pool as well so that's going up tomorrow so it's going to be lots of fun in the garden oh and kids. i've bought slushy syrup today slushy syrup from b&m I'm going to try and do slushies in my Nutribullet. Ah, uh, but you didn't buy any ice, though, didn't did you? didn't buy any ice because I forgot. So, so someone um, will be going to the co-op. Yeah. I forgot, totally. Someone's going to the co-op in the morning. So, anyway, uh, that's it for today. Uh, excellent video. Really hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Please subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell for notifications. Drop us a like and a comment because we always love our feedback for our videos. Anything, any, just drop us a comment, guys, because we love, love them. So, anyway, we'll see you tomorrow. Um, and we look forward to the next video. So, bye! Bye.